uh, so cool. What's in the back? Oh, they got Moving all the games on, in the background. Please have a look at this video. Pika Pika. All right, what we got here? We got a briefcase. Uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. Uh, what is this? Is this a board game? This is so fancy. Is this the actual damage counters? Old Pokemon. Is this the 151 set? What is this? I need to know now. Oh, the backing's different. I thought those were sleeves. I do like those damage counters. Oh my god. Chansey! That'd kill you in the format back then. Got a marble. I'll oh, probably for heads or tails. Uh, are those the back or are those sleeves? Maybe they are sleeves. They are sleeves. Venusaur. It has to be. Yep, fire. There he is. Is it just 1v1 though? Throw a double colorless on there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's the Blastoids. Ah, they don't have any logo. They have the special foiling, though. You can tell right off the bat. Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. This has to be that 151 set. What? Like, I gotta know. Okay, for more information about the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. All right, there's a website. There's Professor Oak. Pokemon we need to know more. What is happening here, guys? To be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last so it is a set. Created by the design firm Nendo. Nendo. And the Pokemon Company as a joint production. Okay, so everybody's together, we'll but... providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships. Oh, so can I'm we get it now? I want to see more. Come on. You can't just show me that. Next, we'd like to announce... Oh, guys, guys. To tell you more, <sighs> we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Netflix. I need to know more about this Pokemon Thanks, set. Yeah. Thank you for... Okay. Okay, everybody, we just saw the Pokemon card classic trading card game. Um, I It seems it seems it's an actual set. Uh, we need I, we definitely need more information. This just got released. We saw before that there was trademark for a 151 set. I guess this is it. We saw their special foiling. Uh, please release more information. We got to know more right now. Their special foiling, you can tell right away, so you know they're not like the OG cards. But where I got confusion in it, I need to go back. Yeah, at first I thought that was the actual back, but it's not, it's sleeves. You can see it more, I'm just so overwhelmed by seeing it. Um, but I'm still very interested. It's odd that they did put them in sleeves, but still cool. All the old Pokemon, they had it in a sleek set. Maybe you could buy a set. It also has packs, I only have the 151 in it, but you get the special foiling, or maybe you get all the cards in one big set. That would be really, really cool. Um, that'd be cool. It'd almost be like a board game though at that point. But anyways, I'm going all over the place. Uh, they've done that before. They had decks in it. Whew. I don't know. I'm, I'm pumped. A lot of people I know who love Pokemon, they even love the card game. They'd be like, ah, man, I just want to play like the old ones. I want to play the old cards and all that. And if they have a set dedicated to it and I, most likely not tournament legal, I could see that. Cause if it's everything that was the same. It's like we had evolutions. They upgraded Charizard and Chansey and stuff like that. But in this, if everything's the exact same, just a special like collector's edition type thing, um, which they did in Magic years ago, many years ago. Um, yeah, dude. Dude, this will be awesome. This will be fun. People will be very excited to jump back into it. If Especially if you get a like a collection of Charizard, uh, Blastoids, and Venusaur even at least, and maybe some packs that come with it. Oh, dude, we gotta see more. I gotta know more information. Uh, you guys stick around. Thanks for checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe. Till next time, guys.